Christy Code Red, author, entrepreneur, retired professional boxer. And in today's video, we are going to find out, is asking for help considered weak or lazy? Spoiler alert, uh, no, but let's talk about it. Because over the last few years, I've noticed this pattern with people when it comes to asking for help. And this is usually how it goes. Okay, so maybe you start to struggle. I'm sure you can relate to this. Maybe it's a little struggle or maybe you have just completely fallen off the wagon and you're getting dragged behind the wagon. All right. So either way, you start making these wrong choices and that complacency voice comes out and starts lying to you. That voice says things like, well, I'll start over tomorrow or, oh, it's just this once or, well, I've already messed up. I might as well just eat whatever I want the rest of this day and just keep going. Another thing that voice tells you is that you can't or shouldn't ask for help because people will judge you or you'll be a bother to them or you should be able to do this on your own. That voice also might tell you that asking for help is weak or lazy. So let's talk about that. Is asking for help really weak or lazy or is that just another bullcrap lie? First, I want you to understand the difference between enabling and asking for help because a lot of people compute, confuse those two. Enabling prevents someone from being held accountable for their actions. If you keep bailing someone out of a crisis that they create, well, that's probably enabling, yeah. If you're supporting them in a way that also empowers them to get their act together, learn from their mistakes, and do better next time, well, that is helping them. Help is empowering someone. Enabling turns people into victims who can't or won't act, accept responsibility for their actions. I hate victims, can't stand it. Asking for help, when it comes to asking for help, a lot of people think that they are so strong and so tough and so driven and, and asking for help when they need it would describe what like, well, that's, you know, like that would make me be weak or lazy because that just doesn't fit what I'm all about. Yet, I've got zero problems asking for help. I mean, you guys think I'm tough and driven, and I am, and strong, and I am. But I, I, have, I ask for help all the time. I mean, I'm not saying it's easy, but I do it. And some of the most successful people on this planet use coaches and mentors to help them with the things that they don't have the bandwidth to handle on their own. I mean, it's one of my top three biggest tips that I give entrepreneurs is to outsource, ask for help, get people to help take some stuff off your plate. You, it, you have no idea. I mean, if you don't, if you can handle it you, or you don't have the knowledge to handle it on your own, outsource it. If asking for help is weak and lazy, then all these incredible people like Oprah or Joyce Meyer or Grant Cardone. So the, the what they're weak and lazy. Asking for help to me doesn't sound weak or lazy. It takes a ton of strength to ask for help when you're struggling. And that voice, and the voice that, that is telling you that it's weak or lazy, that's, that's lying to you. That voice is lying to you. If you're not asking for help and support because you're scared of what people will think of you, well, number one, <laughs> you're probably being a lot harder on yourself than they are. That always seems to be the case. And seriously, there's probably someone in your life who would be happy to lend an ear or somehow help you with some sort of support. But if you're 100% sure there's not, well, that brings me to number two. Find people who are trained to support you as you get back on track. The Code Red community is full of coaches and mentors and other rebels ready to walk beside you as you get back up and keep going, to wrap our, our loving arms around you, I like to say. The thing is, we're, we're not mind readers, though. I know it feels vulnerable. I totally get that. But you've got to reach out to the community and let us come around you. The Code Red community is active in the Code Red network. So come get connected and be around like-minded people who are, are totally ready to believe in you while you learn to believe in yourself. H hiding your struggle doesn't make it better. It totally makes it worse and it's not gonna go away. 
do the strong thing, no matter how weak you think it feels, and step into the light. You can do this. And when you show up, we can help you. Create your free account at Code Red Network, coderedlifestyle.com forward slash APP. That's our Code Red Network and it's free. All right. And I'll see you in the next video.